So I'm unboxing some tools and supplies that I got for my violin. And they're, you know, there's just a few of them to get things going. Right now I've got to a point where I've done a lot of varnishing and I'm finished with the violin. I didn't put that all on video because it was, um, it, you know, it was just not convenient for me to do. So um, I'm learning how to do this voiceover thing so that I can talk while I make, but um, that will be in the future. So this is a tool to untighten or tighten your tail, your um, chin rest. This is a glue, a hot glue melting pot kind of thing because I need to melt the hide glue for the fingerboard. Um, this is actually for the pegs. It's to make the pegs, the holes for the pegs, um, a little bit wider as needed, fitting those pegs in. And then I'm just opening because I'm curious how sharp it is at this point. So I want to, I want to see, it's pretty sharp, surprisingly, very sharp. I was like, wow, this is, this is a useful tool. So there it is with its blades. <laughs> it had a cover on it. So, so as not to ruin the blades or hurt yourself, I suppose. And then we've got um, a gut for the tailpiece and the pegs, the tailpiece and the chin rest are going to be um, coming. They're on their way. I got strings, which you just saw, a new set of strings for it. And then I've got this little gauge so I can gauge where to put the trim marks on the nut. And then also the, where the strings are located. This is actually, these are little needle diamond shaped files. And what they do is they put the, the um, lines in, the rid, ridges, not ridges, but the, yeah, the things to put the, um, the marks on the nut. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, what to call it right now. Um, and this is pretty heavy. It's the... Um, the th and my husband called it a, um, a big pencil sharpener, but it is the what you actually make the pegs smaller with. So there are different sizes to this one, which is handy. Um, they had some out there that were just two sizes, no. which is probably enough. But um, I figured if I want to be accurate then I should get this one instead so there that is and I'm explaining to my husband how it works and so he because he's making it too he's making it with me you know he helped me out with the varnish um, this is a project that we wanted to do together though he's he's kind of leaving me to do it you know, he's explaining to me what to do, and then um, I'm telling him what, what I found out to do because I am doing research on this um, because I've never done it before. So, and this is the peg wax or whatever you call it, so the pegs will go in and out and turn more easily. And so I'm even going to need to use that on my one of my other violins because the pegs are, like, super sharp. So yeah, that, that's it. I've got my stuff, and um, for, um, I'm almost ready to go. The um, pegs and the tailpiece and the chin rest will not be here till next week, so I have to wait on those. But in the meantime, I can get the fingerboard glued in and or glued on, and then also um, work on the nut. So those are my next um, projects. Anyway, I'm not sure what else I have on here because I've, the box just has trash in it at this point. And I'm showing it to my husband and explaining a little bit about what it does. So, yeah, super excited. This has been a really fun project so far. So, I am I'm elated. I can't wait to get everything done. And then I think I have, I'm kind of setting everything out here. 
that I got. And yeah, just so you can all see it, see all the pieces and parts. And there's just so much to do, you know, like unexpected things. Like I didn't know I'd have to use hide glue. You know, I didn't know that I'd have to heat it. Um, I didn't know how to do a, a nut, which is probably going to be one of my biggest challenges of this whole build will be the nuts because I you know it's got to be 